Hello friends, welcome to our channel. So in this video, we are going to discuss about how to make a object cloning in Java. So let us get into that video. So let me consider a class, my class. And let me make some property. Let it be name and let it be ID. To initialize these two instance variable, I'm just defining one constructor. This dot name equal, I'm initializing the name as well as I'm initializing the ID. So in our previous video, already we have discussed what is this keyword and how to use this keyword in Java. In case if you haven't watched that video, so the link is available in the description, you can watch it. So finally, I have a class, my class. It has two property name as well as ID. And I'm initializing these two instance variable with the help of that class constructor. Let me define one more instance method to display these two properties to verify my output. I'm just trying to display ID as well as name. In the main method, I'm going to create an object of this class. Let it be object one equal new my class. I'm pausing some name and some ID. Let it be 101. And to verify my output, I'm going to call the display method. So let me run this code and we'll verify our output for object one. You can look at my output. Yes, for object one, ID is 101 and name is Valan. So now what I am going to do, I'm going to make a duplicate copy or cloning of this object and I am going to assign to new reference. I am repeating the point. Already I have object, object 1 and for object 1 I have initialized id as 101 and name as Bala for object 1. So now what I am going to do with the help of cloning mechanism or object cloning mechanism in Java, I am going to make a separate copy or I am going to make a uh, identical copy of this object one or individual copy and I am going to assign to new reference. So we will see how to make a cloning of this object in Java. So the very first step is if I want to clone any object, if I want to clone any of any object so then the class must implements one interface called clonable you can see clonable is a predefined interface from java.lang package which is the default package we no need to import it so finally this will be my very first step if i want to clone any class object so the class must implement clonable interface. So this is the basic thing. So now once I implement this clonable interface, now my class is eligible for cloning. So now I can, since I implement clonable interface, since I implement clonable interface, I can clone my class object. So now I'm going to clone this particular object. 
so this object is pointed by a reference called opj1 so now what i am going to do i am just making a cloning of this object one by invoking a method clone finally by using this particular object i am invoking a clone method to make a cloning of this particular object so now definitely we may get a doubt so from where i am getting this method already we are familiar by default each and every class is a child of object class object is a super class for all the classes in java same way my class is also child of object class so in that object class we have a method clone so finally by using my subclass object i am invoking my super class method i think but object class method clone so finally don't forget friends so clone is a predefined method from object class so by using this method i can clone the object so what i am trying to clone i am trying to clone my class object so i will be creating a new reference Yes, I have cloned this object and I want to assign to the new reference. So, which means here, what is happening here? It is cloning this particular object. So, that object, I mean, it's cloning in the sense it's a separate copy, duplicate copy, it's a separate copy. So, that new copy I'm going to assign to this OPJ2 reference. But let me look at this error message. It is saying that type mismatch cannot convert from object to my class. So which means by default, this clone method is cloning the object. It's cloning any object. And by default, it is returning all the objects in the form of object class. Nothing but super class. So that's why it is showing this error type mismatch. So which means I need to go for a typecasting. I will convert into my class type and I can store. Still I am getting the error because of checked exception. It is saying that I have to handle clone not supported exception. Either I can enclose with try catch or simply I can go for throws declaration. Let me put a throws declaration. So now my object is ready. To verify my output, I will say opj2.display. If it is cloning successfully, for opj2 also, I need to get the same value. Let us verify our output. You can see for object 1, 101 and same way after cloning, I am getting same value. Let me verify whether these two are separate copy or not. Let me make one system.out.println and then I will call opj1.hash code. Hash code is also a predefined method from object class. By default, JVM will assign a unique number for nothing but hash code value for each object. If the hash code value is different, then both are separate copy. If the hash code value is same, which means it's not a separate copy, the same object, uh, I mean, the both reference are Refer, uh, referring the same object. So let me verify with the help of this hash code value. I can come to know that whether both are two separate object or it is a common object pointed by two reference. Let me run this code once again and we'll observe our output. You can look at the output. I'm getting two separate or unique hash code value. So which means both are entirely different copy, the different object. 
so after this for example if i change the value of opj2 uh, uh, by using opj2 object if i change the value of id or name so that will affect only object 2 it will not affect object 1 yes both are two separate copy maybe let me i can show you one simple example let me say opj dot name equal i'm saying it's also and then i'm calling opj2 dot display as well as opj1 dot display just to give a little more clarification to confirm whether it is two separate copy or not let me run it you can look at my output initially for object one name is voila right so after cloning i have changed the value of name as arasu for object two so finally you can see it is affecting only object 2 still for object 1 the name is voila so hope we are clear friends i am summarizing the points once again so first what i have to do to make a cloning i have to implement clonable interface from java.lang package so that the class is eligible for cloning so how i will make a clone by using existing object, I can invoke a method clone from object class. This will clone the object and it will return in the form of object class. I will perform typecasting and then I will store it with my new reference. So finally, because of this clone, what will happen? It will take a duplicate copy or it will take a separate copy. So that I am assigning to this reference. So finally, OPJ1 is pointing this object. OPJ2 is pointing the cloned copy or separate cloned copy object will referred by OPJ2. To verify our output, what we have done? We have invoked the hash code method for object 1 as well as object 2. If the hash code values are unique, then both are separate object and also we have verified by changing the name of object 2 so if i change anything by using object 2 that will get reflect only on object 2 that will not impact object 1 because both are two separate copy so friends we are clear about how to make a object cloning in java so thanks friends for watching this video if you like this video please subscribe and click on the bell symbol so that as soon as i upload a new video you will be getting the notification also you can share it with your friends